how do you tie a calf in a clipping chute? Over the course of your project, your calf is going to spend a lot of time in the clipping chute. Knowing how to tie your calf in the chute correctly will make your calf more comfortable and will make your job as a showman a lot easier. When you're working in the clipping chute, we want to have easy access to all the areas of the calf's body so we can brush, blow, work hair, or clip without the bars of the chute getting in our way. In order to accomplish this, most of the time, I like to tie calves with only their nose through the head catch. To do this, you must make sure the chute head catch is shut, leaving only a small gap for the nose. If you tie your calf with its entire head through the front of the chute, you can't work the hair on their neck, and you may get lines from the poles. The way you wrap the excess rope around the head catch and the way you tie will make a difference in the way your calf stands. Once you've positioned your calf in the chute, start by wrapping the rope around the head catch pole, the bar closest to your calf's face. I always make a second wrap under the first. This ensures the rope will not slide down the bar and the calf's head will stay up while you work. Uh. To finish securing the calf, wrap the lead around the outside chute bar and tie it off just as you normally would in the pen or on the wash rack. If your calf has never been tied in a clipping chute, it could take time for them to relax and stand still. Be patient. If your calf likes being scratched with a show stick or being combed while standing, use these as comforting encouragement for your calf to help it relax. Over time, your calf will become more accustomed to standing in the chute. Most calves will tie this way easily, but if your calf is moving around in the chute too much, you may need to try something different. For a calf that does not hold its head still, you can try using an additional halter on the off-show side and tying it like we did before. So now there will be two halters on your animal, one tied on the left side of the animal and another tied off on the right side. If your calf continues to pull against the halter or move too much, you may have to catch their head. When you catch your calf's head through the head gate of the chute, you can tie it using the head tie that extends from the top of your chute. Your calf may be more relaxed in this position, but it will be difficult for you to work and clip the neck and the front of the legs. So continue to work with your calf until it stands tied with only its nose through the head catch of the chute. Once you can tie your calf to stand in the chute, you'll be ready to get to work clipping and fitting. Follow these four steps and you'll be ready in no time. First, close the head catch and pull your calf into the chute with only its nose through the head catch bars. Wrap your rope twice with the second wrap under the first. Be patient and encourage your calf to be comfortable. And finally, if your calf is being difficult, try an alternate approach. That's how you tie your calf in a clipping chute. Sure, champ. Prep to win.